Good evening everyone. I hope you are having a lovely Sunday. Um, so we are in week 3 of 10 weeks of Yuktahar project. And yesterday we had a beautiful chat uh, with few of the participants of this project. And uh, it was so amazing. Uh, I, uh, people who missed watching us live yesterday, please go on my page and do watch it because um, I was able to only chat with uh, 5 of uh, the participants. Um, I couldn't take a lot of people because uh, of time constraints but you should really go and uh, talk them, uh, hear them talk uh, about this project as to you know we had like a participant who didn't even, who, who is the, you know who was diabetic uh, at the start of the program but uh, how his blood sugars are better controlled now. They have reduced uh, participants from US, PCOD and all kinds of troubles, people who were not struggling, who had, a, who had reached a uh, you know, plateau in terms of weight loss and they were able to lose like few uh, kilos in these last two weeks. Uh, people who had gotten, who, who are, uh, you know, towards menopause and were finding it difficult to break the plateau, they have found results. So a lot of others, but what I'm just trying to say that, you know, uh, the same thing is working for uh, people for people with a lot of concerns and uh, when I'm saying the same thing it's only about sensible eating whether it's a person who is trying to control his sugar levels and his diabetes he is also not shying away from carbs uh, he was reluctant to have rice and roti but now he's having uh, the rice and roti the carbs and he's feeling completely fine with the millets and everything. Nobody is counting the calories. Nobody is counting the proteins. Nobody is uh, dumping a lot of non-veg and boiled eggs and all those things into their bodies. So just simple, sensible eating is what everyone is doing, and they are, you know, finding great results. So do go and check that, um, you know, chat there. It's there on my Instagram profile on my page. And uh, once again, a very big thank you for all the participants who have, you know, kept your faith in sensible eating and in me. Uh, so keeping that aside, let's come to today's topic. Uh, so today we are going to discuss the vegetables of phase two. So I'm going to discuss uh, what all can we eat, like vegetables can we eat in phase two. So firstly, in phase one, there were only seven vegetables that were restricted in phase one. Mein. So seven vegetables they were restricted, the baki you were allowed to eat all the vegetables even in phase one. Or wo seven kaun se hai, wo un, wo table pe diya wa hai. in chapter five, there's a table nine where it's written down that what are the seven vegetables that I'm asking you not to have for only those two weeks of phase one. But now when you reach phase two, you are going to eat all the vegetables. There is no single vegetable that is restricted in phase two. Okay, so her tarah ke vegetables aapko phase 2 mein allowed hai, kuch bhi restricted nahi hai and uh, when I say that, uh, the first question is ki kis tarah se vegetables khane hai, in what form and that is what I am going to discuss today. Are we going to have it in the form of raw salads? Uh, are we going to have it in the form of cauli rice, like the cauliflower rice? Or are we just going to eat it sensibly just the way we should be eating it? So firstly, let's talk about cauliflower rice. It's something that, you know, it really intrigues me because cauliflower is what? It's full gobi, right? And what is cauliflower rice? It's just because gobi is white in color. These people, they make, they grate it and they make some, uh, uh, some uh, you know, cauliflower, some dish out of that cauliflower once it's grated because then, According to them, it then resembles rice, which is quite funny according to me. And then they start calling it cauli rice. And then everybody who's wanting to lose weight, they will start eating it for dinner. Ki dinner mein kya khana hai? Cauli rice. Why? Because cauliflower doesn't have carbs. So no carb dinner. And cauliflower rice, great replacement for the normal rice dinner. I mean, this is the craziest thing that we have done. Because if you really um, push aside all this... Uh, noise that we keep hearing about food and diet trends and you just uh, try to you know recall what you have always been taught as a child you will know that your parents your mother would have always told you ki bhai gobi raat mein mat khana full gobi is something that we have always been told ki sham ko raat ko mat khana and the simple reason is because these things are not suited for evening time. You always have a gobi, you always have a rajma, you always have a chola. 
for lunch you don't have these things for dinner but fast forward today we have lost that sense completely we don't even want to recall the simple fact that if we are going to eat something like a cauliflower rice which means ki cauliflower bahut zyada amount mein hai it's not even a small amount where jab hum sabzi ke roop mein usko khate hain roti ke sath then at least we are consuming a small amount jo bhi we are have always been told ki bhai utna bhi mat raat mein lo but now here we are making like this full cauliflower rice because we think that this is no carb dinner and it's going to be great and then we constantly feel gastric and bloated and then we want to figure out why we are gastric and bloated and then we have something else some concoction just to feel ki bhai bloating hai to usko hatane ke liye hum kuch extra or exotic concoction lete hain which uh, again is of no use so it's like a constant uh, vicious uh, you know uh, circle or a cycle that we just keep you know following uh, uh, falling into so no cauliflower rice guys i mean there is nothing as light and as digestive and as great as a khichdi uh, the normal your rice khichdi rice or moong dal ka khichdi or a millet rice and moong dal ka khichdi and you don't have to have cauliflower rice and things like that don't uh, you know shy away from carbs don't fear carbs as i said yesterday we had all these participants and they were just so, so you know relieved with the fact that they don't have to go away from carbs they are just eating normal food they don't have they have to count calories they don't have to count proteins and none of those stuff so you know sensible eating is the way so no raw salads no kachcha uh, you know salads ki bhai vegetables khana hai so let's go on having salads no we are not go, uh, going to do that and not even Uh, any kind of koli rice or any such thing so uh, phase 2 mein vegetables what are the different ways in which we can incorporate one is of course the normal bhaji and sabzi right so the normal sabzi of course the with the tadka and everything that we make with all the masalas jo aap apne roti ke sath rice ke sath dal ke sath khichdi ke sath jaise bhi aapko khana hai so this of course doesn't need explanation but just i would say that no need of having boiled uh, sabzi or no, no need to ha- have kachcha sabzi just cook it the way you like it if it requires nariyal like if you live in maharashtra or goa side konkan side they will use a lot of grated coconut in their bhaji let it stay no need to fear that if you um, are somewhere uh, uh, towards the east side they will put a lot of mustard in their bhaji let it stay nothing to worry if you go little down south they put peanuts in their sabzi nothing to worry so do make the sabzi just the way you like it and just the way you have seen your mom cook or your grandmom cook right the second thing is stuffing for parathas okay so there's mooli paratha there's gobi paratha there's methi paratha bathua ka paratha so many parathas now again what parathas and what time firstly let me tell you about the time uh, the good time to have a paratha is not breakfast as most people believe the good time to have a paratha is lunch okay why because we want to have our most substantial meal the most wholesome meal during lunch एंड लंच का भी मतलब दोपहर में तीन बजे नहीं है लंच का मतलब है इलेवन ए एम टू वन पी एम बिकॉज दिस इज द टाइम वेन द सन इज एट इट स्पीक एंड दिस इज द टाइम वेन आर मेटाबोलिज्म इज ऑल्सो एट इट पीक एज इज एट इट स्पीक सो इट जस्ट मेक्स सेंस कि हम जो अपना मोस्ट सब्सटैंशियल मील है लंच के वक्त खाएं विच इज इलेवन ए एम टू वन पी एम so um, you know if you are you know a person who likes to eat parathas make sure that you eat it for lunch between 11 am to 1 pm that is number one thing the number two thing is when i say stuffing for parathas what is the atta that you will take in phase 2 at least we are talking about phase 2 so i am just going to stick to phase 2 in phase 2 for the next 6 uh, weeks you you we are going uh, gluten free right and why we are going gluten free for all that you will have to read this book uh it's it's beyond the capacity of these live sessions to explain the kind of information this book has so of course we don't have to go gluten free for the whole life it is only for the phase 2 that we are going gluten free and of course for phase 1 as well but we are, i'm just going to talk about phase 2 right now because we are in week 3 and we have you know started phase 2 so wo kyu karna hai kyu nahi karna hai all those kind of things are here and i would not be able to discuss all that at length but just know that right now for the next 6 weeks we are not doing gluten of course so what you are going to do is you can use any of these millet atta so you can use jowar uh, the place where you are living if it is cold right now you can even use bajra ka atta and you can even use ragi atta so any of these three attas you can use to make these uh, 
स्टफ्ड पराठास एंड इट टेस्ट एब्सोल्युटली ग्रेट लाइक यू कैन मेक अ जवार मूली का पराठा यू कैन मेक अ जवार आलू का पराठा यू नो व्हेन आई जस्ट स्टार्टेड वर्किंग विद तापसी मेनी यू मेनी इयर्स बैक फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम शी वाज ऑलरेडी ऑन अ सेल्फ डिवाइज्ड ग्लूटेन फ्री प्लान बट हर ग्लूटेन फ्री प्लान वाज लाइक यू नो ऑल ऑल अबाउट ग्लूटेन फ्री ब्रेड्स यू नो ऑल अबाउट रेडी मेड ग्लूटेन फ्री स्टफ If you have read uh, chapter nine in the book, you already know what I'm talking about because in the chapter, uh, you know, I have mentioned these things about you know how we started, etc. So uh, to cut the story short, when I asked her to you know stay gluten free for few weeks so that we can work on her gut, on her metabolism, and I assured her that you know after few weeks we'll bring all of your normal wheat and everything back to your plan. and uh, then i told her that you know you can have your jawar roti and you know you make a stuffing and have the mooli jawar paratha or a ja- uh, aloo jawar ka paratha she was so happy because she had not had parathas for the longest time uh, as a punjabi she loves to eat rotis and parathas it's something that she really really enjoys and uh, just because uh, you know she got into this industry and you know she wanted to feel good look good you know perform her best in her work um, and everything she just stopped them thinking that you know uh, she will not be able to eat this ever again if she really wants to you know maintain her uh, you know fitness and everything but when we got into the plan and then you know uh, i gave her this jawar ka roti and her mom used to cook for her and she was so happy that she could really eat parathas and uh, it was like uh, you know the best gluten free thing that she could have not running after the gluten free breads and gluten free pav and so many gluten free stuff that is in the market but simple stuff which is just being cooked in her kitchen and it was actually like a paratha that she was enjoying in her phase 2 plan with dahi and uh, she was really really happy then of course like when we got Uh, into phase three, then today, like she eats even her normal wheat ka paratha also. Not that millets are not there in her plan. Millets are also very much there, but uh, uh, you know it's a mix. It's a balance of everything. So um, so do try them out. We will try if we can share some recipe with you. But they are plentiful there, you know, on Google, and you can just check them out. The third is chutney. So chutney again, like you know, as I said, phase one may be chutney here, phase two may be chutney here. So chutney is always there. but uh, uh, you know that the kind of chutney will keep changing so phase 2 may you can have like a mooli ka chutney uh, there are people who even make pyaaz ka chutney you know kanda what we say in uh, bombay so you grate them and you make these chutneys out of vegetables there are people who make these chutneys and they give a little tadka to those chutneys so many ways in my house uh i i come from a marwadi family so in my house what happens is like they use this koila coal and uh, they that uh, you know they burn that koila uh, and uh, so the grated uh, chutney is ready uh, the grated vegetable chutney is already ready with all the spices and all but in the end what they just do is that put that burning coal uh, inside that chutney just for few minutes so it gets that little burnt you know smell and taste and i absolutely love it uh, we call it dhuni ka chutney but i'm sure a lot of communities do it and uh, in fact there is there was a lot of uh, you know articles in the middle which i read uh, because suddenly charcoal became a thing and uh, people were you know after charcoal but you know somewhere we are very close to uh, you know the charcoal thing or whatever you want to co- you know call this so in whatever ways basically whatever ways you like use the vegetables soup of course so we have already discussed soup so you can continue with all your vegetable soup whether it's a pumpkin soup or uh, asparagus soup if you are somebody who lives outside india or say um, a- a- onion soup or uh, methi palak you know all sorts of soups you can have uh, halwa of course uh, people who are in india and jinke yahan pe abhi thandi chal rahi hai uh, up north mumbai calcutta side east um, at least these places are quite cold right now so halwa is something that you can make so you can make like a loki ka halwa you can make a gajar ka halwa so all of these things you can have of course you cannot use the normal uh, dairy milk right now in phase 2 so ensure that you make your halwa with the ingredients that are uh, you know kind of uh, approved of in phase 2 so you can um, you know use any nut milk to make these halwas um there are halwas there are certain desserts which you can make even without using nut milk or even uh, you know dairy milk or any kind of milk so you can you know uh, have those kind of desserts as well 
uh, know that again the best time to have a halwa is again either with your lunch 11 to 1 pm ka time which i told you or after lunch which is again so basically anything between 11 am to 4 pm is a good time to enjoy a halwa so take your pick whenever you want to have right so from 11 am to 4 pm of course you don't want to do a halwa every day but honestly if you really eat sensibly with a balanced mind and not with a greedy mind uh, then uh, you know I, I, I don't know any person who would enjoy eating halwa every day you eat a halwa once a day uh, once a week and you really don't feel like having it for the next six days at least so keep that sanity there uh, but do include these uh, kind of halwas right now then the sixth is achar so again the time to have all your achar uh, whether it's uh, gajar ka achar or gobi ka achar or any kind of uh, vegetable achar that you can make in fact uh, what i missed here was one more point that is kanji so there is a kali gajar ka kanji in which you even uh, many people make beetroot ka kanji so they add beet and they add turnips they add black carrots many ways north indians usually make this kanji in the winter season so right now this is the time for the kanji so fill up your burnies with kanji this is the great time to have in phase two make use of these vegetables and uh, you know make this kanji so that is one point that i missed here but kanji is also one of them and the last one here in the tiny little alphabets written is in raita so again you know cucumber raita gajar raita onion raita in whatever way you want to use batwe ka raita there's so many again raitas that we know coming from india so make your raitas because you can you know always have raita now in phase two you can enjoy kanji in phase two so just you would just you know kind of imagine that how much uh, variety is there in your uh, daily menu uh, right now and that is what i just wanted to stress about right now is variety the most important thing in phase 2 is variety jab tak aapke uh, diet mein variety nahi ho variety ka kya matlab hai jaise if you really talk about vegetables we are always stuck into those five six vegetables only gajar beans gobi mooli alu pyaaz matar these are the only like 10 9 10 vegetables that we people eat so we need to broaden our uh, you know our list we need to ensure that we make use of more and more variety of foods that we eat and that is how you will strengthen, you will build up your immunity. Uh, you know, in the last two years, there has been so much talk about immunity and every time I speak with, you know, professors or colleagues and scientists and everything, the only thing we always discuss is that, you know, people want to buy so many immunity boosters so as to speak or uh, so many, you know, concoctions and supplements and this and that. But a very basic thing that, you know, firstly, 80% of your immunity is in your gut. There's an entire book that I've written explaining that. So I won't go into the detail of that. But 80% of your immunity is in your gut. And how do you make a strong gut? just by giving your gut a variety of foods because only when your gut learns to adapt to a variety of foods your gut becomes stronger Agar aap apne bacche ko, like when we bring up our child we always talk about exposure so much right we, I, I meet so many of these urban parents and they keep saying that no i want to give a lot of exposure to my child so when they say exposure they mean ki, you know sending your child here also in that class also ye yahan bhi wo country mein bhi us class mein bhi you know giving a diverse environment to your child because then my child is going to get stronger and more adaptable and you know blah 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 the same thing is with everybody and everything the, your gut also is the same only only if you expose your gut to a variety of different things your gut will only then learn to adapt to digest and you know uh, just pick up the basic skills of working with so many foods and there there itself uh, you know, you build up your immunity. You don't need anything so special ki ye, you know, ye kadha lo or ye supplement lo or meri immunity bad jayegi. It's not like that. You're, okay, so the most, you know, the simplest thing that you can do is include a variety of food uh, in your diet, which is going to be something that I'm going to stress all the time in the next uh, six weeks that we are together. Uh, but right now, I'll stick to vegetables. So when I say variety, um, we need to bring a lot of variety, as I said. And also, I will, I'll, I'll just tell you a small exercise. Just think of the number of, 
वेजिटेबल्स जो आप ज्यादा करके खाते हैं मतलब जो आप हमेशा खाते हैं एंड आई एम श्योर दैट दे विल बी ओनली टेन फिफ्टीन वेजिटेबल्स दैट वी ऑल ईट उसके आगे हम बढ़ते ही नहीं है सो दैट इज द रीजन वाई इन दिस बुक आई हैव गिवन अ सीजनल गाइड ओके दिस इज द बुक युक्ता हार द वेली एंड ब्रेन डायट एंड ऑन पेज थ्री वन वन दिस इज द पेज इफ यू यू कैन ऑब्वियसली सी दर इज अ फुल टेबल so there's a seasonal table for vegetables that i've given because most of the time when i when i you know consult with clients they always say that see kaun sa seasonal vegetable hai kab khana hai hame pata hi nahi chalta because you know in cities like mumbai or delhi or whatever everything is available all well all through the year which is quite correct but then what do you do and for that you have this you know these seasonal tables are there and not only will you get to know ki kaun sa vegetable kaun se season mein khana chahiye you will also get to know a lot of these rare vegetables which uh, i'm sure that you don't know about or which you have not eaten about so which you have not eaten so uh, if i just say name a few of them there is uh, a dukkad uh, kaand okay so that's a hindi name but it's actually an air potato so it's not your usual potato it's an air potato and it's available in the monsoon uh, region there is a in, uh, in the monsoon season then there is a mayalu which is an indian spinach so I, i you know you have to just go here and see the kinds of different vegetables that our country offers and then just try to expand your uh you know uh, the, the the kind of vegetables you get home or the kind of veg uh, the kind of vegetables that actually uh, enter your thali or your plate there is also a madras kakadi which is actually a madras cucumber so it's again a different cucumber so many many different uh, you know these uh, vegetables which we don't hear of uh, which we don't know about which we never uh, care to eat uh, these are all mentioned here and you need to read this table now again uh, if a lot of people ask me ye where do we find them honestly if you are in mumbai i'll tell you you find them in the dadar area you know you go to dadar station you find most of these vegetables during the seasonal time there uh, uh, similarly if whatever place you live there is always a local hat uh, it, it may not be every day but it may be like only once in a week but uh, honestly i travel quite a bit and uh, whatever i have traveled in the country i know that each state has its own local heart where they have these very local vegetables that come only seasonally and they will come with only these these very small farmers who will you know uh, get it from their very native village ki wo raat mein bas mein baithe hain morning mein subah 6 7 baje wo hat bazaar lag gaya hai that kind of a thing and you just have to find out about these places and go it's not like an impossible task so i really think that you should do this Uh, for people who live outside india again there are a lot of farmers markets and trust me a lot of my clients who uh, my nri clients they keep talking about these farmers markets and they keep telling us that it's quite uh, I, i mean it's quite uh, possible it's not something very difficult um, you know you can speak to the farmers there you can figure out what it is uh, what is there in season and uh, if you live outside india as i said make use of the vegetables that are present over there so you can have the leek and you can have the celery and you have can have the asparagus in fact you should bring about a lot of variety because uh, when it comes to vegetables which are perishable items vegetables are perishable that is why it's wrong to expect ki aap india se aaye hue vegetables khaoge agar aap germany mein rehte ho london mein rehte ho us mein rehte ho right so if you are living anywhere outside india try to find out vegetables that are pretty much local over there and speak to your farmers from where they are getting it bahut agar dur se nahi aaye if something is coming from you know mexico and if say you live in new york city it is still fine so so it really um, you know depends and just going to the farmers market and speaking to a few farmers is going to help you another thing that i wanted to point out is that what i want you to do is that we have you know three main seasons there's summer there's monsoon and there's winter so what i want you to do is ki aap zyada nahi sirf aisa do vegetable aap socho ki each season mein i am going to introduce two new vegetables to my diet okay which means new ka matlab kya hai jo kabhi aapne kabhi khaya na ho jo aapne kabhi pakaya na ho Uh, जो जो आपने कभी जाना ना हो सो so, ऐसे कोई दो सब्जी को हम मैं हर सीजन समर मॉनसून विंटर सिर्फ दो सब्जी टू ईच सो बेसिकली इन द समर सीजन यू से दैट यू नो आई एम इंट्रोड्यूस टू न्यू समर वेजिटेबल्स 
in monsoon i'm going to introduce two new monsoon veggies and in winters i'm going to do the same so by the end of the year what is most amazing is that in your diet there will be six new vegetables which was not there a year back and that is how you will build immunity that is how you are going to build a strong gut that is how you are going to build a strong robust metabolism and just imagine another year goes by and you do the same thing so you will have 12 new vegetables that was not there in your diet two years back how amazing is that so i want you to do that and i also want that you also try not only new vegetables but you also try new traditional recipes of making them so you know um uh whatever new uh, uh, ways of making them if you feel ki mai aloo ki sabzi ek hi tarike se uh, pichle 25 saal se bana rahi hu then please find out a new recipe and make that aloo ka sabzi in a different way because when you use the same aloo but in a different way you are going to use the other supporting ingredients will be new राइट वो रेसिपी अलग कैसे होगी कि आलू तो है बट बाकी के जो सपोर्टिंग इंग्रेडिएंट्स हैं वो कुछ अलग है विच मीन्स दैट इन एडवर्टेंटली यू आर गेटिंग न्यू इंग्रेडिएंट्स इनटू योर बॉडी सिस्टम सो न्यू रेसिपीज न्यू वेजिटेबल्स मेक इट अ पॉइंट टू ब्रिंग अबाउट अ वेराइटी एंड दैट इज हाउ यू नो वी आर गोइंग टू यू नो प्रोस्पर फिजिकली हेल्दी इमोशनली मेंटली इन ऑल वेज सो दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू लेट मी नो हाउ दिस गोज let me know the two new vegetables that you are adding at least in this season and let me know how you are making them and uh, yes we are good to go with the questions if we have lunch at 11 or 12 uh, then can we have banana soaked dry fruits or vegetable juice at 9 am for breakfast uh, so, uh, vegetable juice and soaked dry fruits and a banana i mean uh, see uh, for breakfast uh, a breakfast should be light but i would not ever want you to have a vegetable juice for breakfast for the simple reason is that vegetable juice is made using raw vegetables you just use raw vegetables and you crush them or you, you know grind them or whatever you want to call it in a blender so i'm not a very fan a, a very big fan of using raw vegetables so i don't usually advise vegetable juice to any of my clients until and unless they really enjoy eat uh, drinking it which also i feel is rare because honestly it's rare to find someone who enjoys drinking a vegetable juice uh, but yeah uh, soaked dry fruits is fine because it's soaked so it's fine but then uh, uh, if you think it it's really going to satisfy your appetite for breakfast it's fine i i am not sure if it's going to satisfy your appetite uh for breakfast but if it does it's fine the third option you said is banana again uh banana for breakfast for various reasons banana for breakfast is best eaten when it is steamed or cooked so a lot of these south indians or people from kerala they actually steam the banana and then they eat for breakfast they will not eat a, bre- uh, a banana directly only for breakfast i'm saying of course if you're having it at 3 pm 4 pm 5 pm then you can you don't need to do this but if you're wanting to have banana uh then it's it's better if you can steam it and also you know if you enjoy that uh, steaming a uh, steamed banana if you enjoy the taste then yes otherwise it's okay if one has to stay awake at night and feels hungry what can one eat tea doesn't suffice tea doesn't suffice tea is not something that you should be having also raat mein when you are awake firstly uh, i always tell you ki raat mein jagne ka kaam hi bahut kam kare ki aapko jagna hi na pade put your foot down if you're working doing whatever try to speak to people around if it's your boss if it's your husband whoever um, if it's your wife i mean whoever whoever is there uh, who you may be answerable to ensure that you don't have to stay awake because uh, the damage that you do staying awake in the night is not something that you can really you know make up for uh, by doing anything else in this world but if you really have to have to stay awake then uh, just go for anything that will depend on your appetite at that time so if you are not very very hungry then you go you can have something like a fruit like a banana works at that time uh, if you're not very 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 hungry or uh, even a handful of nuts a handful of roasted peanuts is something that you can have like i said like i discussed cheese uh, yesterday so artisanal cheese is something that you can have a sourdough bread with cheese is something that you can have if you are awake because it's a very easy thing also you don't need any preparations then again depends on the hunger if the uh, hunger is more you go for a sour dough or bread plus cheese if there's not that kind of hunger then you can just have cheese by itself 
Which foods to avoid to prevent bloating and acidity? No, no. So which foods to avoid? There is no special food you need to avoid. So just go by the phase one, phase two, forget list. You know uh, the foods that we are uh, that I'm asking you to avoid in phase one is going to help you for bloating and stuff. What you are avoiding in phase two again is going to help. help. So this entire thing that we are doing, doing, if you just do it stepwise and if you follow it, it is going to help you. It has helped so many people. I mean, you have to just um, read the so many great. Uh, you know progress forms and the reviews that people have sent i have just posted a few of them on my page so maybe you just go and have a look because 99% of them have said that they don't experience any gas and bloating uh, after just about 2 weeks so i'm not sure if you're really doing the phase 1 phase 2 but if you're doing it then you don't have to do anything extra in phase 1 can we have makki ki roti no corn um, corn is something that we don't want to have in phase 1 so again i will say that go and check the uh, table in chapter 5 uh, it's table 9 if i am not mistaken i'll check that for you but clearly it is written that the uh, corn is something that we don't have um, in uh, a phase 1 you tell me the next question that's okay yeah okay now somebody was asking me that how do we know because uh, when i was talking live i saw somebody asking me that how do we know which vegetables to have at what time or something like that something about variety of vegetables again because you put things on the screen i i miss it but i did have a look while i was speaking so again as i said the, the entire seasonal variety of vegetables is in the book all you need to do is just go back and there's a full com complete table which you can just use ki kaun se season pe kaun sa vegetable khana hai so uh, if you have already read the book then uh, you would know uh, you know what i'm talking about so please read the book yeah this is table 9 Uh, for the person who was asking me about makkai ka roti, so this is table nine in page one four four. So please go here, table nine, page one four four, where you will uh, read about the very few uh, things that you can't have in phase one, and their corn is one of the the uh, forget list food, and that's the reason you won't have makkai ka roti in phase one. But of course, in phase two you can. So if you have come down to phase two, then go ahead enjoy your makkai roti with sarso ka saag and with safed makhan. But then again, please be mindful that things like these are eaten for lunch. You don't have a makkai roti, sarso ka saag, and safed makhan for breakfast or for dinner. So please don't do that. Uh, have your meals as I said. You know, enjoy them. Enjoy a diverse. Uh, you know um, have diverse choices in them but please be mindful of the timings also the first thing that we discussed when i started this was the 3 hours of tbbd and in the 3 hours one was the r which was right timing so that we need to you know just make them a very very important part of our life and try to understand that whatever choices we have what should be the right time to have the, have uh, them and then you know you will be able to enjoy a lot of these foods without having them harm you but actually they will turn out to be so so beneficial for you thank you very much for joining me live and i'll meet you again tomorrow same time same place thank you